What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today, if you can't tell, we're gonna do um, a chit chat, get ready with me. Maybe we may chit chat because who knows if I can multitask and talk to y'all <laughs> at the same time while I'm trying to do my makeup. I haven't done my makeup in so long. Like, I haven't done my makeup in so long. So, we're gonna see how this comes out. I did my eyebrows off of camera. There's something off about them to me, and I just. I can't like I can't figure it out right now but we'll see I was watching this video because I was trying to see what kind of makeup look I wanted to do and um, her name is Savannah Silva and she did this um, she did the smoky eye so I, I kind of want to try it but I'm kind of scared because I don't know how to do that I don't I'm not like I'm not one of the makeup girlies and i'm sorry i'm looking here and then i have a monitor in front of me and then i have a mirror so i'll probably be looking in different directions while i'm uh, talking to you i'm filming on my phone because my camera i don't know what's going on with it but we're gonna get into it i don't think i'm gonna use um a primer today i'm just gonna use a moisturizer because i'm really not going anywhere i'm kind of just doing my makeup um because I'm bored. Um, the sun is going to go down soon. So um, I want to hurry up and get this done because the lighting is, is going to change. I'm sitting in front of the window. Um, I'm thinking I might do an outfit as well. But we'll see. Oh, I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. And I'm just going to put that on my face as a moisturizer primer and I did wash my face this morning so when I did my eyebrows I used um eyeshadow so I used a black and brown eyeshadow mixed together and then I just used my Juvia's Place um I used my Juvia's Place concealer so I do have some concealer on my eyelids um I'm gonna use I'm gonna try to use similar colors to what she used. Oh, see, so I have a monitor in front of me because I can see all of the stuff that I left on my face. Um, I have this James Charles Morphe palette. I haven't used my makeup palettes in I don't know how long. I can't even tell y'all. But anyways, let me give y'all some updates. So, I am in term three of nursing school. Um, so I'm not in the actual core nursing program yet, but, um, I have five, <laughs> why can I talk? I have five more classes until I get in core, which, um, they're eight week courses. So every eight weeks I'm in two different classes. Um, I think... I'm gonna use this color and then I'm gonna go in with this color to darken it up. And then I have like this black. This is a um, hydro liner. So I need water. I don't know if y'all can see that. I need water to activate it. But I think I'm gonna use that on my, um, on my lids. She did use some glitter. I don't think that I'm gonna use glitter because I just don't feel like dealing with that right now. So, yeah, like I was saying, I'm in my, I'm in my third term. Well, there's nine terms because if you come in with no, um, if you come in with no credits, like with no transfer credits, um, you start the program from the very beginning. So they give you all of your pre prerequisite classes, um, and they give you all of your prerequisite classes that you need to get into the core program. Um, they make the classes very easy for you to pass. That way you make it into their core program. So honestly, you can do, as long as you do all of the assignments, you don't have to do well on the exams. But the thing for me is that I want to do well on the exams because they all, they give, it's like practice for me. 
so it helps me with my test taking skills so i'm trying to right now figure out what are the best study habits for me um so because i'm not a good test taker at all but we're going to figure it out because honey i need some good test taking skills anyways right now i am in microbiology and i am in human nutrition my next two classes are i believe culture and health and statistics those are my next two classes which i'll be starting january 2nd and right now um my term will end december 18th it is november 27th so i got a few more weeks left and then I will be in a new term. Well, no, I'll have Christmas break, which we really don't get breaks. So I'm going to cherish the time that I have this break to not have to do any schoolwork. Ooh, I packed a little bit too much. We're just gonna blend that out. Um, on top of that, I do work. Right now we're in peak season, so I am going to be working six days a week instead of five days a week because we have mandatory six days now. Um, I was looking to get a second job, but I don't think that I'm going to. I was actively looking, but I just feel like with nursing school, I need to be able to have a schedule that's going to work with my school schedule and since my school schedule is constantly changing there's not a lot of jobs that are going to be very lenient with their schedules because they need what they need when they need it so um i'm going to start my business back up i feel like i kind of gave up a little too easy on myself because things weren't going how i wanted them to go um i am a licensed esthetician in the state of california and I have changed my name so many times. So I finally came up with a name. I'm gonna do my LLC. I'm gonna do everything the right way. I need to get, you know, my website together. And I need to get my EIN. I need to open a business bank account. Um, get a list of all my services. I already know what booking site I want to use. So I need to get all the other stuff together and then I need to come up with a marketing plan. That That is the biggest thing for me is marketing. I am not a marketing major. I mean, I see like the different marketing tactics and things like that. I also need to, you know, go out, put my name out there, you know, because things aren't just going to be automatic. People are not just going to automatically say, oh, She's an esthetician, let me follow her, you know? So, I'm gonna go into, I use this, which one did I use? I use this one. So I'm gonna go in with this one now. The names aren't on these, so I really don't know what to call it, but it's just a darker brown shade. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start my aesthetics business back up because I am in nursing school to become a medical esthetician. I am really into the beauty aspect of everything. So I want to do Botox, fillers, IPL laser. I'm thinking about becoming a nurse practitioner. It's not necessary. Um, I could find someone who is willing to let me work um, under their license and just run my business that way out of a sweet space. Um, but if I wanna cut out the middleman, I would need to become a nurse practitioner because um, I have to work under a doctor's license and able to, um, to do it as just a nurse. So we're gonna see, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find a doctor that will let me work up under their license um but yeah those are my my future goals um 
hopefully that is something that I could do and put into play. But I want to start, you know, building my clientele because I don't graduate until 2025. So I still have a lot of time to build clientele and then I can get even more clientele with added services because I want to do post-operative care as well, like for after people um, to do their massages and their drains and things like that. So I want to be able to do that um as well so there's a lot of services that i would like to offer but we'll cross that road when we get there right now i'm, I'm gonna offer waxing but i live in the inland empire and not a lot of people offer sugar waxing they offer regular waxing so I want to learn how to do sugar waxing so that I can offer that as a service and gain that kind of clientele. Um, I took my bloodborne pathogens test and that's for me to be able to do um, micro shading because I do have my certificate for that. I just, um, I need to practice on my skins and things like that before I move on to working on to actual people so there's that i'm gonna kind of speed this up finish my eyes and then once i finish my eyes then we'll come back um and talk to you guys some more okay y'all hear me out i know it looks crazy right now gotta trust the process <laughs> sorry if you hear my dogs outside of my window my mom is bringing them in oh. wow look at my eyeliner broke throw that in the trash and then my mom is outside on the phone so that doesn't make it any better but I'm gonna do eyeliner right now because Honey, I'll be touching my face and I just feel like I get fingerprints on my makeup and I just don't like it. I had the Urban Decay, the Perversion Eyeliner and it was super black and I loved it. I don't know what happened to it though. So we're using this Fenty. Y'all gotta get close to my mirror. So sorry if I'm too up close and personal for y'all. Y'all hear my mama yelling at these dogs. <laughs> I like this eyeliner. I just feel like it could be darker. And yeah, this dog. He just talks. I wonder if I'm gonna finish this makeup look before the sun goes down because it's not looking too good, but it's okay. We'll get some lights on. Um, I feel like I look real crazy right now. I don't wanna add glitter, but I feel like glitter would be cute. But we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna throw on some lashes and then we're gonna see if it looks a little bit better. So, um, give me one second. Okay, so I feel like that looks <laughs> so much better. Um, yeah. You guys. um, yeah, that looks so much better. So now we're gonna do our foundation and these lashes I got there super long but i love dramatic lashes and these came with um a wig that i had ordered a while ago so there's that i'm going to use my i'm going to use my house of labs um well house labs foundation um i don't know how it's gonna look we're gonna see um I kind of want to I kind of want to mix it with my NARS this one is a lighter shade this one is a darker shade 
you can't really tell in the bottle they kind of look the same color i kind of want to mix it but i don't know i'm scared um so we'll just see i'll go in with this first i'm gonna go in with this first and then what color is this 460 medium deep warm i actually feel like I'm not color correcting because I just don't feel like doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in. Mm, I think when this oxidizes, it'll be okay. I look a little crazy right now, but who doesn't look crazy when they're putting their makeup on? I usually would use a beauty blender, but I saw somebody using a brush. And I really like how flawless the finish was. So, I really, um, I really do like the finish of this foundation. So we're gonna see what it looks like after it oxidizes. Um, I'm gonna go in right now with uh, my Sephora um, Micro Smooth Powder. I'm gonna use my big brush. To just set this foundation in. Hopefully the lighting looks okay. Cause the sun is definitely going down. I know that y'all can see the difference. Um, Now I have two concealers. Where did the other one go? Um, I think we lose this stuff. <laughs> Give me a sec. Oh, right in my face. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Um, I have the Juvia's Place. This one is in the color 11. And then I have the Tarte Shape Tape. And this one is in the tan, tan deep honey. So I'm gonna use this one, and then I'm gonna put this one in the corner since this is a little bit lighter. Okay, so while I am waiting for this to dry down, I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I don't um. I don't really contour that much anymore. Um, I will every so often, but I just feel like the using the bronzer just gives a softer look. Hold on, because I feel like my lighting, I feel like it's too bright. Okay, I think that's a bit better, hopefully. My ring light died. I'm not really sure how, but <sighs> it's not working. So we are going to have to improvise to finish this makeup look. I need to order some more lights from Amazon because I can't do videos like this if, you know, I have no lights because I was supposed to film this earlier in the morning, to be honest, but I was at work this morning because if you don't know, I work overnight. I was at work this morning and I had the most tremendous headache. It was like, like nothing I have ever felt before. It was so bad. I had to leave work early. And then I left work around like 5. I got home. Well, I left work around 5.30. Um, I got home around, you know, a little bit before 6. And when I tell you, I went to sleep from 6 and then I woke up at 1 o'clock. 
I never, I never sleep like that. But I don't know. My body, I guess, just needed, needed the rest because I have never felt that pain before. I've never had a headache that was just that bad. My dog lays everywhere but on his bed, <laughs> which I think is just so crazy. I'm gonna go back in with the um, bronzer and uh, blend this out since it got kind of covered. Hopefully the lighting still looks okay for what it is right now because there's definitely no more sun outside. That's one thing about like, you know, time going back is that it gets darker earlier and you have to do things earlier in the day. But if your body won't let you, you gotta do it when you can. So, oh, that blended out so nicely. I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer. I've been going through my makeup and throwing things away. Slowly replacing. Slowly replacing, you know, my makeup, my foundations, because usually I have everything Fenty. But I feel like my Fenty stuff, it transfers a lot. So I have to find the right products to go with it. That way it doesn't transfer as much. So... Yeah, we're gonna go back in with this bronzer and bring some color back to our face. I'm so happy that, oh, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> I'm so happy that, um, well, I'm probably gonna put blush right there so I don't have to necessarily worry about that too much. It's literally getting so dark. We'll have to see if I'm even able to put this video up. I may have to refilm this. I may have to refilm this tomorrow, but I have a dental appointment tomorrow at 11.30, so I'll have to get up either super early or do it right after, because I have school. I have school at 6 o'clock. So. Okay. I really like this foundation. I feel like it matches, and I didn't really... I brought it down here, but I didn't bring it down my neck. And I feel like it's a really, a really close match to my neck. I really don't want a contour, but I feel like this makeup look probably would have been better with the contour. But I like a softer look. So we're not doing that gonna go in with some powder this is the beauty bakery flower powder in plantain this is in plantain you guys i can only imagine like i was doing like youtube videos with my best friends at the time in high school we were doing videos, but it was like more so shout out videos and going live. And I just like, I think about it like, if we were to continue doing that, where we would be right now on, on YouTube. But we didn't know, like, you know, we didn't know what YouTube was going to be back then. And we weren't really like serious about it. We just... I don't know. I think it was just something that we like to do. And then in the back of my mind, I've always wanted to do YouTube videos. So I just, you know, I waited a long time because I felt like, okay, well, I need, I need all this equipment and I need to have good editing software. And, you know, I want to have good quality videos because that's what people like to watch. 
And then I would watch all these videos and they would all tell, you know, the same story of like how they started. A lot of people still film on their, their 13 Pro, which is what I'm filming on right now. Because my camera is acting a little crazy. Okay, I got the bronzer, the Fenty bronzer and the Mocha Mommy. Um, like I was saying though, I feel like you know, we get so caught up in the aesthetic and we want our videos to look like everybody else's, but everybody has started somewhere, you know. Ooh. Everybody has started somewhere. Not everybody has the funds um, to, you know, sit here and go buy expensive cameras and have Final Cut Pro and have time to do all this fancy editing and adding all this other stuff into their videos so i feel like everybody starts somewhere this is where i'm starting i actually do have a camera on the way yeah i feel like this is much better so um i do have a camera on the way i was um using a sony fe oh a Sony NEX F3 and I've had it for quite some time because I've always wanted to do YouTube videos and I just now started to actually you know get serious about it because I want to record my nursing school journey um, for you know I'm a non-traditional student I'm 30 years old I have a you know I have a child and I just want to be able to, they're, they're mainly for me. I want to be able to look back and be like, damn girl, you did that. You worked full time, took care of your child, went to nursing school full time, and now you have your bachelor's degree in nursing. Like I want to be able to go back and look at that and be like, Baby, you did that. What brush do I want to use for my nose? I need to bring some color to these nostrils, honey. Ugh. I'm just so upset that I wasn't able to get this done before the sun went down, but you know, it's all right. It's all right. We're gonna get the content. Everything won't be perfect. This is like realistic. I don't want things to look extra perfect. I don't want, you know, there's a video that I have up where I hit a curb. I sure did keep it in there because, you know, I'll be driving crazy sometimes. So I probably need y'all to be telling me to slow down or some shit like that. But. You know, I want to be realistic. I want to be relatable. I don't want to seem like my life is just this aesthetically pleasing every day is glamour. Like, that's not realistic. Like, now, I don't know if I'm going to get on the camera doing all that crying and shit. But, you know, because that's just, that's just not me. I barely, I barely cry. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's just not me. Where's my foolish? So we'll we we're gonna see how much I share, you know, because y'all be judging me. Y'all be doing a lot. I'm gonna take I've been using all of my brushes that I've been using are Morphe and then all the palettes that I well my eyeshadow palette is Morphe. This one is Juvia's Place. It is so dirty. I need to wipe all of my makeup down. I'm trying to debate because I have a smoky eye. I kind of want to use this, but then I kind of like this. Or I can mix these. You, you see the dilemma here? <laughs> I don't know what I want to use. I kind of like this purple, though. So we're going to see. I'm going to mix the purple and the pink together. And we're just going to see what that's giving. I mean, if it's not giving, that's just too bad because it's going on here. And I'm not taking it off, so I think it looks okay. Should I have used the the little peachy color? Maybe. 
I'm not a pink gal. I'm just trying new stuff. So we're just doing it all around. Just trying new stuff. I feel like I need to put on more concealer on my nose. Um, just to brighten it up, but I'm kind of liking the subtle makeup look. There we go. And then I'm gonna go in with my micro smooth powder and um hopefully you guys are enjoying this video um i never really do like little chit chats and stuff like that because a lot of people don't like the talking videos but you know if people like to watch me and you've made it this far thank you so much and if you're not subscribed you should do that because I want to post more than just nursing content. I have nursing, lifestyle, and beauty. That's what my channel is about. And I want to start doing a lot more like skincare content because I am an esthetician. And I do want to offer my services. But I feel like it'll be better if I do the services, everything that I want to offer on myself. That way, when I have clients and they're asking questions, I'm able to tell them from experience and not just like, oh, well, I've done this on this one client and, you know, it worked out really well for her. Like, everybody is not the same. So, everybody has different, you know, skincare regimens and they have different problems with their skin. So... I don't want to give everybody the same answer because it's not going to work the same for everyone. So I just set my whole face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And I really, I really like this. I really like this subtle, like, it's not cakey. I like the fact that I don't look like a pie, a bakery. Like, I really like that. I have, okay, so I have these Dose of Colors lip liners and lip glosses and stuff like that that I've had for such a long time and I've never used them. Why? I don't know. Um, I just feel like I need a super dark lip liner, which, you know, I don't think is the case. We're going to see what this looks like. Oh, I do not look at it. I'm just so used to like the dark brown that anything that's not dark brown, I just feel like it doesn't work well with my skin color. But that's like for me, watching all these videos and everybody uses the dark brown and the nudes and stuff like that. Which, don't get me wrong. I love me a nude. And that's probably what I'm going to go for right now. I have these two Morphe um, liquid lipsticks. One is in Vanity. One is in Virgin. And then I also have this NYX Sway lipstick in Danity Days. This is what this looks like. I, I think this is, I think, let's see. I gotta go back in with the liner and get that together. So, oh, it will help if I roll it up. So I have this NARS. And this is in the shade Turkish Delight. I found out about this lip gloss from um, Aaliyah J. The NYX, they didn't really have. I wanted that color combo, but they didn't have the, um, the NYX gloss that she was using. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, she has it in one of her... Um, she has it in one of her highlights. Ugh, I love that. I feel like the brown probably would have just been 
a little too dark. I know that I have a smoky eye. I'm over here talking about things being too dark. But I feel like it just looks so good. With this. And I need to. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can see that. I really like this soft. <laughs> it's a soft beat with like this dark smoky eye which is crazy to me i'm gonna go off camera and redo my eyeliner here and probably smoke out the bottom and then i'm going to come back <laughs> all right you guys so now i'm back and this is the finished look like i was saying i really wish that i was able to record this earlier so that i could have got some pictures outside um but it's okay i'll do plenty more of these um next week i'm gonna be filming a skincare video i'm gonna give myself a dermaplane facial with um an enzyme just because the skin your skin the the key to a flawless face of makeup is the skin up underneath so if you're not taking care of your skin you're always gonna have those imperfections and those blemishes that you're just layering makeup on top of like you can see this little bump right here but that is that's a hormonal bump i'm just now coming off of my cycle sorry if that's tmi but um you want to take care of your skin under the makeup or else your makeup is always going to look you know it's not going to be at its best because you're not taking care of your skin underneath wow this foundation i did a good job matching myself I did a good job matching myself and I really, really like the finish of this foundation. It looks really nice. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that you um, and click that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. I want to say thank you so much to the people who have been sticking with me from my first video three months ago. We are slowly growing and that's all that my mind is on is like growth that's with youtube that's in life that's with anything focus on growth don't focus on the numbers people if they like you they will naturally gravitate towards you they'll want to watch you they'll come back so if you do enjoy my content go ahead and click that subscribe button if not it's no hard feelings i may see you next time on one of my videos i may not but um thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye